Thank you, Curtis. Today we celebrate a true legend in the world of broadcasting, a man whose voice has graced our airwaves for more than five decades. Picture a hot summer night. You're cruising down the street with your windows down, your radio is tuned to your favorite station, and your favorite music creates the perfect soundtrack to your evening. Then a smooth, soulful voice cuts through the air and you can't help but smile. It's Donnie Simpson welcoming you into his world, a world of funky beats, incredible artists, and pure, unadulterated joy. For decades, Donnie Simpson has been more than just a voice on the radio. He's been the soundtrack to our lives. He's championed rising stars and introduced us to legends, all while weaving his own magic into the airwaves. Donnie's leadership and vision transformed stations like WKYS FM in Washington, D.C., achieving record-breaking ratings and earning him national recognition. He also graced our television screens on shows like Video Soul and movies like Crush Groove. With every word and every song selection, Donnie Simpson has reminded us of the power of music to connect and inspire. His passion for radio and music, a passion that's resonated with generations of listeners, has also earned him countless accolades. And tonight, we're thrilled to add NAB Hall of Fame inductee to that list. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Donnie Simpson. Hope y'all can't see these tears in my eyes. Um, this is just unbelievable. What a nice presentation. Thank you so much for that. Um, I hadn't seen it, so I'm in the back with tears in my eyes, like, wow, they're talking about me? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just amazing to me. I just have so many people that I want to thank. Uh, I want to thank, first of all, God for making this possible for me. Um, for God to have given me the parents that he gave me, to give me the wife that he gave me. And she's backstage, uh, my wife of 50 years now. Yeah. <laughs> 50 years. Pam is her name. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you the coolest thing, all of the stuff that happens in your life and a career and all that, the coolest thing in life to me is to see my high school sweetheart now in the role of grandmother. You know, that I've seen that much of her life is just so cool to me, and she's so good at it, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to acknowledge her because it wouldn't be a very nice flight home without doing that. Um, <laughs> you, you learn some things after 50 years. Um, I want to thank uh, my mom. My mom was just so special. I just lost her back in October at the age of 93, and she had the record shop that you saw that they spoke about in the piece. And, um, you know, that's where it all started for me. At the age of 12, she opened that record shop. And there I just had a love of music. It was just all around me. And one day she had a local DJ come out and do his show from there. He did his broadcast there. And he let me come in to do the specials. You know, we got the Temptations, Greatest Hits on Sale for $2.99 for the next two hours or whatever. And people used to always come in the record shop and go, God, you sound just like a DJ. You ought to be a DJ. It was in one ear, out the other. I wanted to be a Baptist minister, if you can believe that, yeah. Somewhere along the line, George Clinton turned me out, but here I am. Uh, but um, that day, when I saw him do his broadcast, and he's sitting there, and he's got his headphones on, and he's grooving with the music, and I was like, man, that's what I want to do right there. I was 15 years old, and in the next three months, I was on the air doing it. You know, and uh, so I thank God again for that, to have an opportunity like that at such an early age, at 15 years old, in a major market. Detroit was the fifth largest market in the country at the time. 
Uh, you know, my mom used to take me to work. I worked 8 to midnight, and I couldn't do my whole show live because I couldn't work past 1030. So after school, I, she'd have to take me down to the radio station, record the last hour and a half of my show, go home, do homework, have dinner, go back, do the show live from 8 to 1030 and put on a tape and go. You know, so um, it's just been an amazing ride for me. I, I want to thank so many people who lived on the right-hand side of the radio dial for so many years that weren't recognized. And uh, I just want to thank them because I come in on their shoulders. You know, people like Frankie Crocker, the legendary Frankie Crocker out of New York. You know, Shelly the Playboy out of Birmingham, Alabama. Um, I have to acknowledge two guys that uh, in radio who were so instrumental to me. Um, Ken Bell and Ernie D. They were legendary DJs in Detroit. Legendary to me. Uh, Ken Bell used to sneak me into the radio station, let me make tapes, and would critique them the next morning and all of that, you know. And, and you know, to this day, it's like one of my producers one day said, why do you always let people in when it's so distracting? I said, because somebody let me in, you know? Really? That's right. That's right. It's distracting, but you never know what might happen. You know, look what happened because he let me into that station. Here I am with this in the NAB Hall of Fame. I, I, I can't tell you how mind-blowing this is for me. I, I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to shut up. Uh, I, um, you know, I was telling someone the other day, I was talking with a friend, and I was telling him how, like, I never read newspaper articles on me and stuff. I just, you know, I, for 40 years I haven't read anything because I was always afraid that I would believe it. You know, and I just didn't want to trip, you know? And um, I got to tell you, this one is pretty hard to ignore. <laughs> you know, it really is. This is really something. When I first got this call saying that I was going to be inducted, all I could think was that, so it was like that? It's unbelievable. I, I thank you so much. Every award I ever got, I sent home to my mom. I can't do that anymore. I'm taking this one home with me. But she's here with me. She sees it. Ain't it something, mama? Ain't it something? Man, I love y'all so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. chills just listening to that. What an icon. Let's hear it again for Donnie Simpson, everyone. He deserves it. What a life. What a life. What a, what a career.